The colonel went out sailing, he spoke with Turk and Jew, with Christian and with infidel, for all tongues he knew. Oh, what's a wifeless man, said he, and he came sailing home. He rose the latch and went upstairs and found an empty room. She kept herself in the country and she was much alone and though she may be there he said she may be in the town she may be all alone there for who can say he said i think that i shall find her in a young man's bed the colonel met with a peddler, agreed their clothes to swap, and bought the grandest jewellery in an old Galway shop. Instead of thread and needle, he put jewellery in the pack, and he bound a thong about his hand, hitched it on his back. <laughs> The colonel knocked on a rich man's door, I'm sorry, said the maid. My mistress cannot see these things, for she is still in bed. But never have I looked upon jewellery so grand. Take all unto your mistress, and he laid them on her hand. <laughs> And he went in, and she went on, and both climbed up the stair. And though he was a clever man, for his slippers he did wear. And when they came to the top stair, he ran on ahead. His wife he found in the rich man in the comfort of a bed. The judge at the assize court, when he'd heard that story told, awarded him for damages three kegs of gold. The colonel said to Thomas Mann, harness an ass and cart, carry the gold about the town, throw it in every part. <laughs> And there at Old Street Corners, a man with a pistol stood. For the rich man had paid them well to shoot the colonel dead. But they threw down their pistols, and all men heard them swear that they could never shoot a man did so much for to share. <laughs> Did you keep no gold, Tom? You had three kegs, said he. I never thought of that at all, then want before you die. And want he did, for my granddad saw those words come true in the end. As Tom made out his living from the seaweed on the strand. <laughs> Lullaballoo, ballo, 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 ballo,